Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video where I test viral TikTok foods. people do this video find them really interesting so i was like we're gonna try it it's currently nearly 10 past 10 in the morning i've got up bright and early i've got ready i'm gonna have a productive day i'm gonna start off my morning with baked oats first things first i'm gonna preheat the oven i've seen a couple of recipes so i'm kind of just gonna take a little part from each person and kind of just do it myself and eyeball it i don't know i feel like i'm gonna be okay at it i'm actually so excited i've got my little container so First thing these are gonna need is half a cup of oats. These are just plain oats. Right, that's practically half a cup. Beautiful. You need one egg. I'm gonna try and crack it with one hand. I've been doing this on oh, my toe, my toe, my toe, my toe. Lately I've been mastering it. Now I'm on camera, I feel like I'm gonna like mess it up, but we'll see. Right, ooh, I'm, I'm really nervous. <coughs> Don't think I got any shells in. That's perfect. Don't know where to put him. Show them there for now. We've got the eggs, we've got the oats. Need a pinch of salt. Kind of random adding a pinch of salt. Actually, no, it's not. I'm gonna do it the professional way. Right, he's in. It says two teaspoons of baking powder, but I still don't have any baking powder, so I'm just gonna be using bicarbonated of bicarbonate of soda. Oh, I feel like one might be enough. I'll do one and a half, kind of. Some of the recipes say half a banana and then some recipes say a full banana. So I'm just gonna do like just more than a half. Oh, this looks so good. I'm gonna just do about that much and then I'll eat that later. Break them up so it's easier for it to blend. Bananas in. I'm gonna add some golden syrup. This is the thing you can like switch up. So I've seen a lot of people add like things like honey or golden syrup. Loads of people add cinnamon or peanut butter. I don't have any peanut butter at the minute so I'm just gonna be adding golden syrup. Ah! Yeah. ah. Pop him in there. Mm. Mm. Right, really nice. Last thing we need to add is milk. Everyone adds like a random amount of milk. I'm gonna add like a splash, like the tiniest amount of milk, like a lid amount, a lid full. Right, I feel like that should be enough. That's all my ingredients in my little blending thing. And I'm gonna blend it all up. Oh, I'm kind of scared. I haven't used the blender in a while. <gasps> Give it a little shake and then blend it again. I was meant to make a TikTok of this. Oh well. That's pretty much done. Now we've got this like good like liquidy type consistency. I'm gonna add some chocolate chips. Got some of my Terry's chocolate oranges and I've like broken them up into like tiny little bits. I'm gonna add them into this before I pour them into the little... Right. Why is it stuck? Right, that's not coming off. Ooh, why do I really want to like taste it? It smells really nice. That proper smells like a really nice like banana smoothie. Mmm. That's actually really good. Wait, I feel like I'm gonna get salmonella. Salmonella. Salmon. Salmonella. How do you say salmonella? Translate into which language? No. German. Got with blended consistency. Got with blended in good. Do you want to shut up, Mabies? Got my blended ingredients. I'm going to add my chocolate little chunks. Oh! Why do I get so excited over the littlest of things? Oh, this looks incredible. I'm going to mix them together. I'm just going to pour them into the little dish. Oh, don't know if I should do it like all the way at the top. Mm, may as well. Poured them all in. It's looking hella fresh. Now I'm going to put this in the oven. I don't know how long for. A lot of people say it takes about 20, 30 minutes, which is actually really long. And I'm kind of hungry now, but oh, I'll eat my banana now. Maybe have some Terry's chocolate orange if I'm feeling cheeky. Pretend I didn't say that, that's actually more fine. Do I need this? Ah, uh, ooh. Yes, sorry. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Your timer is set. So while my little oven buddy, not oven buddy, while my baked oats are baking, I'm gonna make myself like a coffee, maybe eat that banana. Oh my god, why am I so excited? It's legit just oats baked in the oven. I don't know where I went wrong. It's only legit been in for eight minutes, right? And it says it's meant to be in for like 20 to 30 minutes. It's like sort of exploding out the side and I really don't know why. I mean, it still looks kind of good. Like, it looks kind of fat. It's a little burnt on the top. It's 20 minutes later. My timer's legit about to go off. Take him out of the oven now and I'm going to see what he looks like. Oats are out. I need to 
I need to get a heat proof mask. Do you look a little bit crusty on top? I'm gonna stick a knife in. Ah, 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 ah. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It looks pretty perfect to me. I know it's a little bit burnt on top, but to be honest with you, I quite like my food burn. I like a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a crisp. Melt some Nutella. I'm just gonna do a spoonful of Nutella, maybe. Maybe it's a little bit more, who knows. I'm gonna try and salvage them and make them look pretty. I'm just gonna sliver this little top bit off. The actual like texture of it looks like, oh, I'm not meant to eat yet. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm our chef. Look at him, look at that. <gasps> look at the consistency, oh my God. I think I might be a chef. Oh, he's kind of such a good consistency. Like, look at this. It's like proper cake. That is legit just a cake. I'm gonna make it look pretty and then we're gonna do a taste test. And I'm gonna get myself a coffee. Oh. Yes. Oh, he could go on the mic. Mmm. Yes. I've pulled. I've really pulled this one out of the bag. Let's boogie. Let's boogie indeed. So it's taste test time. I have still got Christmas mug. I know it's the 4th of March, but you know when you find like the perfect size mug? Not too big, not too small. It's just perfect. It's proper cake consistency, man. Look how nice the inside looks. That's like a proper cake that you'd never think that was cooked with those. Oh, yes. Don't even get me started. Mm, that is so nice. Shut up. Shut up. The chocolate orange I put in was pop and candy. <gasps> My mouth's having a legit party. I've actually nailed this one. I pulled this one right out the bag. And I've got it. The clown. I pulled him right out. Pulled it right out of the clip. And it's all over my face, but I'm not even bothered because I'm enjoying it. Some people are just born with it, and I think I was one of them people. For quickness and for how nice it is, I'd rate it a solid nine. Like I'm maybe I'm being too generous. Maybe actually I'd say an 8.5. <laughs> Just finished my oat. I rate them a solid 8.5. I'm about to head to Tesco's now with my mom. I'm gonna be getting some ingredients for the feta cheese pasta. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll find some little moons as well because I've seen a lot of people raving on about their feta pasta, little moons. Let's get it. Hello, boys and girls. I'm back from Tesco's. Time is currently five to three and I'm gonna start on the feta pasta. I've got all the ingredients here. I'll show you like everything that I'm gonna be using. I found this recipe on TikTok and I'm just gonna try it. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some pasta. I went for the rigatoni. Rigatoni. Tony. I've just got feta cheese, some olive oil, salt, pepper, and I think this is oregano. 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 Those are like seasonings. Cherry tomatoes, some garlic. Kind of cute. I've decided I want to add bacon. First of all, we need to assemble this. We need to preheat the oven. I'm going to put everything into this little, I don't know what you'd call it, dish. Three second rule. First things first is to add the tomatoes. Use all. I'm going to add feta cheese. I'm just going to cut the feta cheese in the middle. Can you eat feta cheese raw? Like I kind of never, I don't think I've ever had feta cheese before. Maybe I'll have a little nibble and see. Mmm, I don't know if that's normal. By the way, I have washed my hands. Nice. It's kind of nice. I have washed my hands. Right, and now I'm licking them. I'm gonna add the garlic. My mom's gonna just add this like this. Oh, we just said take the pink skin off. This is gonna take forever. Should I just add them whole? A little bit of skin's not gonna harm anyone. Mom, do I really need to take the skin off this garlic? Add the garlic, which I have indeed peeled. Actually, my mom helped us. I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna toss them about in this. <laughs> It's already smelling really good. Now you need to add the seasoning. Or should I add the bacon first? I feel like I should add the bacon first. I'm just gonna use the scissors to cut the bacon up into little slivers. I just wanna get past that little fatty bit. <laughs> now I'm gonna add my bacon, which I just cut up into like little chunks. I haven't seen many people do it with bacon, so I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea. Put the bacon in, I'm gonna season it. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna lather it in salt. Pepper. A bit of origami. A tiny bit more olive oil. There we go. Kind of proud of it. It's quite an easy recipe, so I think if you just want to try it, I don't see why not. I'm going to put it into the oven. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. Perfect. While me pasta's cooking in the oven, I'm going to weigh out my pasta and I'm going to cut some onions and peppers off. What is everyone's favourite, like, colour pepper? Because mine's definitely red. I've been really putting off cooking this, like, feta pasta because I really wanted to do it, like, for a video. I didn't want to, like, already taste and then film as making it and eating it because then I feel like there's just no point. I wanted to get, like, my reaction, like, raw, if you know what I mean. Thing is, right, don't get us wrong, it looks unreal, but I always just think, why aren't I adding meat to it? I'm now going to weigh out my pasta. I never know how much to put out. Like, I always go with the recommended serving amount but that's never enough 
Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna do 200 grams and see how much that is. That's 200 grams. I might do 250. I'm doing 300. It's time for us to start cooking my pasta. Ooh, look how long he is. Look how long that one is. I'm gonna snag that one. I'm gonna give him a little shake just to get like the flavors mixing about. Fill up my pan with nice water. I'm gonna let him boil once he's like came. Why do I keep calling everything a hey? Hey. Hillamillion salt. Right, that's definitely more than a pinch. More than more than earlier. Oh, I don't want it to splash. Got my little Starbucks glass. Only got three ice cubes in. I mean, I guess it's better than now. Appreciate the fizz. That was ASMR. Really, really want to try the 10,000 calorie challenge. I honestly, I'm telling you now, I think I can do it. You probably think I'm lying. You're probably like, there's no way you could do that. But I'm quite competitive. I've already planned everything out. Like, I've legit got a plan of how I do it. I've got my ways. But if that's something you want us to do, or if you want to see us try it, then let us know. I will give it a go. I feel like it's just, it's a matter of time. And I've been thinking about it for a while. I see a lot of people do it and like, they're legit eating the Domino's pizza and they can't even get halfway through it. I'll finish mine. I'll finish Erin's. I'll finish Rosie's. Like, I'm not trying to like hype myself up. Pasta that's pretty much done so i'm actually gonna get some bread out because i was thinking this with some like but i'd like buns wow i'm so gonna cut in bread i think that's done oh my devil oh my holy devil look oh look at that and it's proper sizzling it looks unreal let me bread and my butter uh, pardon me give him a fat stir i'm actually Baffled. I'm just gonna mix it together and like burst these tomatoes. I really wanna like just try this by itself. No. Oh, taste test of my pasta. Mmm. Pig nail done. I'm starving. Right, there's quite a lot there. I shouldn't have added that many. I'm, I'm so lucky that I'm cooking this wrap. Oh, it just smells so good. It just smells so good. Drain my pasta, add them into the sauce. Right, it's so hot and steamy. I've done a lot of pasta here. Oh well, I'll definitely be having seconds. I'm sorry, the sound of this, this is ASMR. I'm gonna use this little spatula. Oh, my mom's got the long bit of pasta. Lucky little devil. Oh, wait, I don't wanna try it yet. Got my big fat pasta. I did grate some cheese on it. A little bit of cheese. Gotta get a generous amount. Shut up. Am I actually the raffer I'm right to eat? I might be Remy. Mom, you're actually gonna die. I'm giving this a solid 10 out of 10. Get a bit with all the like sauce on it. Right, full on dive into it. Right, now actually taste it. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'd rate that a 10. Am I a chef? <laughs> Seriously, I wouldn't go that far. No, no, no. Rate my feta pasta. Not even 10, actually. Maybe it's like 20. It's nice. It was really, really nice, but I wouldn't rate it that high. What would you rate it? Come on. No, don't be offended. No. It is really good, but I think an 8. Bear in mind, you rate my oat an 8. Right. There's still improvement to be made. There really isn't, though, is there? Right, my mum, to be honest with you, my taste buds don't actually work. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rate it an 8. I rate my feta pasta a 10. Maybe it's even a 20. <laughs> Last but not least, I've got my little moon. So, this is what they look like. They're kind of just like little balls. Oh my god, they're unbelievable. Ooh, quite a weird consistency. Let's pick a fat one. He looks quite fat. This guy. They feel fluffy. I mean, obviously not, but they feel it. They smell unreal. I smell like mango. Like, they smell like holiday. Surely not. Surely not. I don't know what to do with myself. That's what it looks like. It's obviously got the mango ice cream inside, which hands down mango ice cream is my favorite. But the outside's like this like doughy like texture. I don't know. It's like I don't know experiment. And I knew I was gonna love them, but I didn't know I was gonna actually like them this much. Have you heard that is small? Oh my god, look at that. Look at him. That is delicious. I don't know what it is. I have a taste of like the skin. Yeah. It's like jelly. It's like wine gum. <gasps> this is basically mango ice cream wrapped in like a fruity wine gum. Oh my god. I thought I was only going to have one, but I'm probably going to have to have another. They are the best things I've ever had in my life. I'd happily pay £4.50 for them again. 
<laughs> I feel like you'll only know if you've had them. When I can get my hands on the other flavours, you best believe I will be. I'm gonna rate these 100 out of 10. I'm the vegan, so if you're vegan, get your hands on some little moons. Should I have another? I kind of should. Before I dig into the rest of my little moons, I'm gonna end the video. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really actually enjoyed today. I hope you all enjoyed watching it. I hope you've all tried everything. If not, make this video be the reason that you try everything that I tried today. If you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, comment. It really means a lot. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video which will probably yet again be another food video so yeah thank you for watching I hope you all have a good day bye bye until next time